I will come back to my mom's channel. <laughs> okay, come on. These are my favorites. These are my favorites. Hi, beauties and curls. It is Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming back over and over again if you're an OG. And if you're new, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I would love for you guys to be a part of the fam down in the comments. We have a party down in the comments. Yes, absolutely love you guys. And it has been an amazing 2018, 2017. We're getting ready for 2018. Oh my goodness. I'm already lit for it. Today's video is going to be all about my favorites of 2017. My natural hair favorites or just hair products in general. I know you guys look forward to this at the end of the year. Definitely let me know down in the comments what was your favorite product of all time. Of all time. So let's go ahead and start off with shampoos, pre-poos, no-poos. Yes, these are my poo-boos, okay? The first one is the Shea Moisture Monongo Hemp Seed High Porosity Moisture Seal Shampoo. This is amazing. It is, I'm not really one that likes a lot of foamy type of shampoos. So if it foams, it has to be moisturizing to me. It's already going to clarify my hair, but I definitely need something that's going to clarify and moisturize at the same time. And I really, really like this. It does not strip my hair. Last year, I did review the deep conditioner, but I did not get a chance to review the other items. But this year, I did uh, review this, and I really do enjoy it. It's a repurchase. It's probably one of my favorite shampoos from the drugstore that actually has a foam. I do have some other ones, so if you don't like a foam, definitely let me know, and I can come with like my favorite no foam or my no poos that are very moisturizing. That's like cleansing conditioners. They're still they're not co-washes or cleansing conditioners the next one I want to talk about I have not I think mentioned in any of my favorites videos but I was trying to get around to talking about this being one of my favorites and it is the Aunt Jackie's purify me now this is extremely inexpensive I know definitely this is under seven dollars I did pick this up from my local beauty supply store I really really like it it says it's a moisturizing co-wash cleanser it's a, clean, a cleansing conditioner, but it also foams. It is amazing, and it has avocado, coconut, and apple apple cider vinegar. That's the thing I really like about this. So if you want one that really cleanses but moisturizes at the same time, you want to really cleanse out your scalp or cleanse the scalp. Cleanse out your scalp. That didn't sound right. If you really want to cleanse your scalp, this is one that's really, really good. I highly recommend both of these. I'm glad that I have some drugstore stuff in here because most of the time I have pricey items and you know I can get kind of bougie with my hair products but I do have quite a few from the drugstore. I'm so excited about that. Now this is surprisingly the only living conditioner that really stood out to me in 2017 and it's the Garnier Hope Lens. This is the Legendary Olive. It is silicone free. I really, really enjoy this. I do have a review on this as well, and I will link it in the in card, uh, I cards or down below in the description box, so you know the deal, y'all. But this is absolutely a moisturizing. If you want to get in-depth, definitely check out the review that I did of this, and um, you'll actually see how my hair looks with this in my hair. So I really do enjoy this, and it's no way down silicone free. I think that this is optimal for low density, fine, thin hair. I really do like this. It doesn't weigh down my hair, but it's super duper moisturizing and olive oil. Can Do I need to say anything else? I do want to talk about two hair oils and I am so glad that both of these are affordable. And when I say affordable, they're not on the bougie end of the stick. This is more drugstore and these are two that I have been loving. Now this is the Shea Moisture High Porosity Moisture Seal Finishing Elixir. I love this during the beginning of the year. And at the end of the year, I tried the Maui Moisture. This is the Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Raw Oil. These both are so good. This one has shea butter, coconut oil, and macadamia oil in it. And this one has... Mom? Hmm. Oh, you need something to cover here. Like a beanie? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go look for it. Be right back. Say hi, Elijah. Everybody hi. sees Joe all the time. But this is this is my seven year old. Ooh, can they see you? I don't know. Sorry. Okay, we are back. Y'all know I'm a glam mom, so constant interruptions. Okay. This year I felt like that this was the year of the deep conditioner 
for me and I have quite a few deep conditioners I love that I have some that are high-end but also have some that are from the drugstore I have some that's from the drugstore as well but if I've done a review I'm just letting you know it's down in the description box or so in the iCards just so you can get a detailed rendition of what I talked about the first one I want to talk about is the ores hair mayonnaise. I learned about this from Afro Khadijiak here on YouTube and this is a conditioning treatment for damaged hair. This is more of a protein hair mayonnaise, hence the reason. And so it has eggs in here and um, it's just really, really good. It bounced back my curls. If you have some reconstructive or some breakage or you need something that's affordable, I think I paid like $7 for this. Yeah, absolutely love this. Two from the drugstore, the Coconut Penetrating Hair Treatment from Camille Rose and also the Maui Moisture Creamy Shea Butter is amazing. These two I do have reviews on. Absolutely amazing. Love those. Okay, so two more products and we're absolutely done. This is not a long list, I told you guys. Eco Style Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil. I do have a review on this comparing it to the coconut. I really do enjoy this. This is probably my favorite Eco Styler and I do have a detailed review on this. And yeah, and it, it says it promotes hair growth. I don't know about that, but I do like this, especially for slicking down my edges. It has a different type of top from the, you know, a flip top rather than the twist, which I really enjoy. And then finally, Edge Control, the Cream of Nature with Argon Perfect Edges. This is probably my favorite edge control and it's affordable. So those are my favorites, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.